So this handy little uh, function here will basically save you the time of copy pasting a bunch of times, or and then cluttering up, cluttering, cluttering up your code in the function render function. So this is much cleaner, right? So let me keep it at um, 15. Then so okay, we got 15 paragraphs here. So pretend this is like a website. You got a sidebar here. So what I want is I want something to sticky as I scroll. You know, you've probably seen this from other websites that it stickies when you uh, scroll the content, but the sidebar stickies and stays with you. So in our case, we are going to create um, a couple of, I guess, uh, containers on the right, right sidebar to simulate that this is um, content. So a website I like to use is called Place Kitten. So this website, you can just basically copy this and then it will create a um, placeholder image for you. So we're going to copy it and then we'll, well, we'll keep it open. It will be handy later on. So there's one more function that we need from Lodash. It's called range. Range is also very, very helpful. So if you look at the documentation, you know, like if you you don't even need to read it, you just look at the example. So range like four will give you, you know, zero to you're creating an array very easily for you of X amount of elements. If you put it in two parameters, it will just put values in between those two. And there's much more. So you can um, check this out in the documentation, but um, we're going to use it to create X amount of items on the right rail so we can use uh, we can basically repeat that many times and then have it sticky for us. So uh, you'll see what I mean when I finish creating this and you'll, you'll see how nice this is. So I'm going to um, create a uh, sidebar. Let's, I, I like to call them advertisements, but uh, you can call it whatever you want. Actually, we, let's call it kitties, right? So kitties equals range. So I want to start from zero we're gonna do something similar, right? So I want to say num const number of number of kitties equals um, it's going to be I don't know how many five. I have five kitties. So number of kitties. And then we're going to, so this will create, uh, I guess, five kitties. And then we're going to map over, iterate over each. So we're going to iterate over them. And then this time we want to return. Because um, we're setting it to a variable. So I wanted to, I mean, this one too, um, because, you know, I actually don't need this return statement, but I just want to show you the difference between like there's a brace here and then there's no brace up here. When you use a brace, you have to say return. Otherwise, if you don't put a brace, it's assumed that whatever you put here is the return inside the return. So I can definitely omit it, but I just want to show you the two different ways that you can do it. So I am going to basically here I'll return the JSX for the sidebar. So I'm going to create the HTML div for the sidebar. So I'm going to sidebar kitty. Alright. So remember we need a key property so we can understand, differentiate them from each other. And then I am going to, well, let me install the React Sticky Sidebar. React Sticky. So this is the component that we need in order for us to do what we want. Uh, I found this is very useful and I'm going to provide a link in the description. This component will basically save you all the time that you otherwise gonna have to write yourself to sticky stuff on the side. So npm start. Um, this is gonna take a bit. I don't know why, but it always takes a bit for the apps to start. 
So basically, what I want, right? It's like five or five um, three hundred by two fifty kitty pictures on here on the sidebar, and then as I scroll, it was sticky for a few seconds, and then the first kitty will scroll up away, and then the second one will stick it for a few seconds, and then go away, and so on until all the kitties are in the screen. So it's a pretty nice way of you know scrolling through your sidebar while not making everything sticky forever. So this is pretty much what this uh, live coding project is about. So um, we are going to, let's pretend the module has been installed. We are going to need a few items from the module. First one is called sticky container. And then the second one we need is called sticky. So I'll explain the difference between them, um, but for now we are going to pretend that it's already installed. Yes, I like to run another port. So I have a project that's running on 3000 right now, so I don't want to stop it. So pretend, uh, okay, so it's running, great. So I want to basically create five titties and put, place them on the sidebar. So here's the div. And there's five of them, and I'm going to use the sticky, oops, sticky container components. Um, yeah, I'm just adding some style to this. Um, this is from their documentation. They wanted me to do this, so I'm going to do it. Container, closing the container. So inside the sticky container, I'm going to need a sticky components. All right? So I want like five of these, and each of these will be a kitty. So I'm going to use the image source equals. Here's where this comes in handy. I'm going to place copy this thing. And then paste it in here. So the size I want 300 by 250. There's a lot of ads are you know that dimension, so it makes sense to try to use that. And then uh, there's one more thing that we need to use. It's called let me see on right underneath each sticky. I want to put some space in between each uh, kitties. Um, I'll show you the difference if I take that out. Um, but for now, let me put it in and. Let's see. Um, so this is going to be. Um, what should I do? So I will give three hundred pixels in between. How about that? Height three hundred pixel. By the way, this is uh, you know um, this is how you create inline styles in JSX. All right. So we have some kitties, and we are going to place the kitties in the sidebar column. Well, we have to wrap it in this because it's a variable that we created, so we need to wrap it in a single brace. So there you go, you got kitties, right? Five kitties, and there's 300 pixels in between them. So watch what happens as I scroll down. You see that first one sticks? As soon as it hit the second one, it sticks, and now the second one sticks for a bit, and then so on and so forth. So this is like very simple. You see how easy it is for me to create this whole thing. Um, I figured like this layout or this you know demo, it could be useful for some of you when you create a new website. So you know, I hope um, that's about it, you know, for this live coding project. Uh, I hope you find it useful. This is the first time I did a live pro coding project, and I hope I didn't bore you, and I hope you learned something. So, as always, uh, send me any message if you need any help, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then visit my website at pentaco.com to look for uh, new videos and tutorials. We just did a major redesign, so I hope you check it out over there. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.